So Dilip, just tell me about yourself. Sir, good morning, sir. Good morning. My name is Dilip Kumar. I'm from mm-hmm. Raleigh. Currently, I'm pursuing my B.Tech in Electronics and Communication. Very good. And parallel, I have done an internship at Isro as a Python developer. Very where good. I'm involved in a project called Python as Programming Tool for Analyzing Data of a ground-based and satellite-based satellite. Mm-hmm. And along with this, I have knowledge in front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, MySQL database. Okay. That's it? Yes. Okay. So what is your role in this ISRO project? What is your role? I have as a Python developer. Sir. Development that role. means I have to develop a Python script for, to extract the data and to analyze it. Okay. Can you explain a small script uh, which you have did recently? There is a two types of uh, files, sir, NetCDF mm-hmm. files and point shape files. Mm-hmm. I have to extract the data from that NetCDF files. We have in that NetCDF file means there is a lot of uh, variables like uh, that means satellite path and satellite uh, area and latitudes and longitudes. Mm-hmm. So in that NetCDF files, I have to extract the latitude, lightning latitude and lightning longitude. Mm-hmm. That means where the lightning is occurring and lightning is striking. Mm-hmm. So I have to extract these lightning. So that means lightning lat and the lightning longitudes. Okay. How did you do that? By using Python? By using Python file handling. Sorry. File handling. I mean, what all methods you have used in file handling? For opening the with, with uh, file open. Okay. And to see the data. Yes, to extract this particular part, but like lat, longitude, and all. Sir, I use the you? group lat uh, longitude variable from this NetCDF files. Then, I mean, how you went to that particular point by using which concept you are going to the particular point in the file? Yes, sir, for using loops and uh, Loops. loops and then numpy and mm-hmm. okay so tell me what is the purpose of list where we use list 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 yeah. list is a mutable data structure sir it allows heterogeneous value the performance when compared to the tuple it is low performance mm-hmm. where we generally use list in the real time i mean in the programming in the program to st- store the multiple different different values we use list. okay and we are having some other data structures also right yes, then sir. why we want to go for list a list means we we can add we can insert we can update but come when compared to the other data structures it's not a okay okay so what do you mean of shallow copy and deep copy shallow copy is nothing but copying an object into another object it refers to the same address okay when, when comes to the deep copy, the reference address is different. Different. Okay. Can you please write an example for deep copy? This is shallow copies. Okay. Okay. So you write another program. So take a list, x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I want you to add the elements at odd positions. Odd positions. Yes. No, no. Why you are taking again input and all? I hope, I hope my question is clear. My, close, my question is, I want you to sum up the elements at odd positions. Sum, sir. Sum up. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. What do you mean of set? Set is a data structure. So mm-hmm. It allows heterogeneous values, but it does not follow solid. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it follows hash function to store the values in the uh, memories. Mm-hmm. How, how it follows hash function? Hash function means structure it follows. Hash table? Hash okay. table. Uh, we have a hash values in this. First of all, it assigns a, 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 we have a set 1, 2, 3. Okay, I got your point. Okay, do it. Where we generally use set? Set to do the set operations like disjoint. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, what do you mean of generator? Generator is a special function which uses yield function to. Yield function? The yes. Okay. Yield Q is the yield, yield function. Yield keyword. keyword. Okay. Why? Why it is using yield keyword? If you use a return, it does not uh, come back, sir. Okay. Uh, then what is the uh, what is the problem? Then can you please explain it clearly, elaborated? If you want to print uh, print multiple values. Okay. Printing. Um, okay. If you want to return multiple values, you use a yield function. If we use the return function, it once it return, it does not come back, sir. But uh, in the yield, it will come back and uh, return the next value. Then why? Why? I mean, my point is why. As you said, both are used to return some values. Yes, then why we want to go for yield instead of return? If you want to, we have a list like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, sir. If you want to print all the values like in the normal way. No, no, no. You're completely confused. You're confusing. Daily, daily we discussed it. Yes. You're confused. Okay. What do you mean of decorator? Decorator is a special function which is used to modify the output of the function mm-hmm. without changing. Okay. Can you write an example for the decorator? Okay. 
What is the what do you mean of decorators? What is the purpose of decorator? What is it takes? So, I mean, do your example is serving the purpose? No, sir. That means mm -hmm. if I here I printed the one value. Mm -hmm. If I want to know that it's even or not without okay. changing this implementation, I use. then how do you do? I mean, this way it will not work out, right? Yes. This way it will not work out. Anyway, what is the? I mean, you are not following the rules of the decorator also. Yes, what are the rules we are having in decorator? Decorator first. It takes the input as a function. So, if mm -hmm. our function is taking an input, we have to mention, give the input to the to mm -hmm. our inner function. Mm -hmm. So, tell me, what is the difference between class and object? Class. Class is a collection of methods and variables. Mm -hmm. Object is a real-time entity. Okay. Class is just a plan and the mm -hmm. object is uh, to implement our functions. Okay. 